Right, exciting times. There's been another update. I haven't looked yet. I don't know exactly what we got. Now, I did actually come in uh, just a couple of minutes ago, and I started farming all this. I'll explain to you in a minute. Let me just fill up. And <clears throat> that'll fill my tank up. This took over two tanks of fuel to, to, to pick them all and to plough it, as you can see. And this is right over here, and that's all the way down here all the way up here and this is a bit where I run out of fuel again so we'll just yeah if I come out you can see massive area now this was all sunflowers the sunflowers give you massive XP well I say massive 45 XP for each sunflower you can you can add that up it's a lot now normally when you would farm this you would get about for each level I'm level 70 now there's a reason I came in early I came in early we're on to farm this so we could open up our very last section which is over there so this would have probably given me half quarter say of the star towards the final XP now when I started this game I was at 70 just over 70 it was now take a look if you look in the top right there, you see 70, just over 70. We're not getting any XP. Now, I would have said maybe it was really slow, maybe they've nerfed it, but... I mean, it hasn't moved. That is exactly the same after farming all this with sunflowers. That has not moved. So, I don't think we're actually getting any XP. Not from, not from this, anyway. We'll do some other things in a minute and we'll find out, because that will move even a little bit. But that should have been probably halfway round or quarter at maximum halfway, but probably quarter for this lot. All sunflowers. Unless they've changed it a massive amount, but I'm sure that would have moved even a fraction. But anyway, apart from that, a slight downer. Um, grab some leaves, you won't be able to see any probably. There won't be any point in me farming anything if you're not getting any of the XP. I mean, we don't need the cash. Um, yeah, we don't need the cash. <laughs> Simple as that. You'll also notice there's a new tractor, and we've actually... I've put this one on. It's a harvester, in fact. So, they've got a harvester now. In whatever colour you like. I've just kept it in the same colours as our tractor was. I just switched over, just so you could see it. And there's a few more clothing, or character design things, new backpacks, there's a uh, cat one, a cat backpack, oh, typical, I would miss that one there, and that one shouldn't be on the other side of the fence, right, let's have a look what we've got, new, so, well, I can see one straight away, it's that, garlic, garlic, very low XP on it, not a lot of money on it, takes quite a bit of time, not brilliant, but it's one of these things if you need it for your quests or if you're starting out, you might find it useful. I mean, what's that? That's a lot more. But that does take 10 hours. What, what equivalent have we got in a three hour range? Three hours potatoes. Yeah, so you get more than the spuds, so. Yeah. Bounces out. But you're getting 100, and that you're getting. only 50, so. It's four hours. Yeah, it balances out. So what else have we got? Is that it? Oh, we've got a berry. A raspberry. So you don't get much for it, but you get not bad XP on it when the XP is working, of course. And you get... Fruit, maybe you use that for the wine. Can you check? Yeah, you can use that for the uh, winery, probably. So we'll have to level that up, because you'll see we've got the broccoli. I've got that up to 15 at the moment. That one I haven't done much, so it's only 5. Planted a few, but not many. Other things like corn, I haven't done a lot either. But then when you see sunflowers, 50. We've been working a lot with those, and a lot with strawberries. 42. And the flower, that one. Well, it's only 15, but we have, we have been working that one a little bit, not over the top, and grapes we... We did quite a few red ones, I think, at one point, or 30. Right, trees. 
the hell is that? Oh, we're in top of here. That is a tamarind? What's a tamarind? I've got no idea. It's got amazing XP, but look at the price of it. Seven and a half thousand. Whew. That's one we're going to have to plant then. We're going to need some of that. And that's a fig tree. Yeah, fig. So you get fruit from that one. XP is not bad, and it's a little expensive. So this is the one I was always using for the XP. You get 89, and what do you get for that one? 75, 87. So this one is still better, and it's cheaper, and you get more money back. So why would you do this one? Just because it looks good. I need to do some more of these ones. Wow, did they change the XP on that? Because that says 100. And I'm sure that didn't say 100 last time. It's also 10,000 a tree. I'll have to look back on that, because we did look at this one, I think, didn't we? Yeah, we must have. I'll have to look back on the other video. I don't remember it being 100 XP. Did they move this one? No, they didn't move that one. That one's 13. Okay. Oh, oh, hello! We've got alpacas. Two different alpacas. That is awesome. 10k for that one. 5k for that one. You get three grand back. What do you get out of them? You get oh wool, yeah. Fabric. Can be classed as. 150 XP. Trouble is. <laughs> can't buy them today because if the XP doesn't work or yeah I'm pretty sure it doesn't work well we'll buy a couple in a minute and which obviously won't be enough to make much of a difference on the sword fish oh swordfish again another awesome thing that you'd keep in a pond right right yeah definitely keep those in a pond and Hmm. 5k, 2k sell, small catch 200. So it's a gamble again, but the XP is good on that. Yep, definitely good XP on it if you get the thing, but it's only 25% chance, so that's the gambling one. Any more of these things? What have we got? What have we got? No, I think it's all the same. I think that's all the same. Now somebody was saying about this um, about it being better to, to have the smaller ones because they're much cheaper because if you do the maths on it you've got like 500 litres or whatever it is or gallons or whatever and then you've got 100 on that one so that's only 5 times so 2 5 is obviously 10 simple maths but it doesn't work like that it's basically this, this restocks every the restock time um, you get three every of uh, three of these every second, basically. So it fills up a lot quicker. I mean, I, when I use this, if I use this and then I empty it out, flat out kind of thing, close to it, it'll pretty much refill my tractor every time I need to go to it. So I find it much, much quicker than these. These are okay, but you've got to keep running to each one all the time to collect from them. So. This does restock a lot quicker, but I think it's it isn't a huge difference from what I can tell. But, but saying that, I mean they did nerf these and they don't give you much at all. You think you get a quarter of a tank, you don't. You literally get. I mean that fills your tank up at 500, but that you need five of those, which is 10. Yeah, but I don't think they. I don't know. It says it. You no, know, that's its capacity. So yeah, when you actually fill these with up with these, they don't fill up your tank great deal whereas that fills your tank right up because you've got to think I and mean, it's got 100 that's the capacity of this machine as far as I know so yeah I don't know how they work that fully but I prefer this one definitely I definitely have at least one of these um, what else we got no more of these 
Damn, this is the ones we need. We need lots of structures and things. And we need animals as well, yeah. But we need to start, you know, because when, when you... Because all this farming is great. And it's really good to farm. But once you've gone past the farming and you've sort of... Maxing everything out like we already are. Um, you need stuff to be able to build and that and put up. I mean, llamas is great. But... Adding more fruit is fine. But like I say, you'll get past the point of wanting to make money and you're moving on to the point of actually wanting to design the farm more, so... A um, bit disappointed with that one, but... That's the way it goes. And that's the same. Yep, that's the same, and that's the same. So, biggest addition, llamas and trees, really, this week. And a few veg. Oh, and of course, the harvester. Right, let's go and uh, say llamas, alpacas, something, pretty much, I think. Right. Where are we going to put some things, though? We've got swordfish now. Ah, hold on. I have an idea. I know exactly where the swordfish are going. Let's zoom in. It looks much nicer when you're zoomed in. When you're building, it's better. Um, to be zoomed out. So check out them lighting. That's for the train. Go karts a little bit darker. But it's all right. Yeah. So we've got our hammerheads here. This is what I'll show you as well. I was on about you get lots if you keep fishing. Well, so you can do that. And that gave us twelve thousand, nearly thirteen thousand. Do that. It's another eleven thousand. And look at the XP as well. Three hundred and seventy-five on that. 375, 6,000. So if you make big ponds, don't just fish them once, fish them several times. About 15,000 on that one. 11,000 on that one. You can just keep doing this. But that XP is probably... Right, that's it. Let's see if it made any difference to the XP. Nope, it's exactly the same. It hasn't moved. So the XP is definitely not working. Um, Unless it's been nerfed so hard that it'll take you like a month to, to level up. <laughs> Who knows, it might do. But I was thinking, I was thinking that swordfish can go on this side now. Which means I would have to redesign this a bit, but... What's it going to cost to plant a swordfish? 5k, 50 XP. See, I might wait till they fix the XP if it is broken. I'll have to go and find out if it's actually broken. But what we'll do is we'll put a little bit of swordfish. Do you want to put them here? We'll put one there. Just so we can have a look at them. Because the thing is, I do want to open up that very last bit of land. Um, we'll do three more. Right, that'll do for the moment. Just so we can have a look. Yep, cool. So this area will be our new swordfish pond. In fact, we'll fill the whole thing out. Like we've got the sharks on that side, we'll do the... on this side. Now, we've got... these alpacas. That could be the new thing for my new area. In fact, we've got the stables, so I wonder if we should keep near the stable. I think my stables aren't really in the right place for animals. Or maybe they are. I can't remember where the stable is. I know I've got one by the fish pond, but I'm sure I had another one. Maybe I didn't. Well, we could put something here. What we could do... Is we get some more... Deck down. What we can do is go around here. Go around that. Maybe I 
like that and then we could put maybe a few alpacas here and get a stable thing stables are expensive 50 well not that expensive so what are we going to do here then Should we put that there put that there for now and what we'll do is we will put some fence up that will come out so you can see it a bit better Okay, so it stays as grass now that joins on what happens when you put a white one does it leave you a horrible line no nope, you can have them mixed like that perfect so we'll have another we've got that one there put one there and maybe maybe you can move that Do I path it or do I just block it off? I mean, there's not much point in pathing down there really. No, we'll, we'll just sort of block it off here then. So we can afford to stick a couple more in. I don't know what happened to that one, it vanished. But that's pretty good. as well I don't know what was going on there right so now some fencing stick with the same fencing or rustic maybe yeah let's keep it the same I think Again, I think I will. we'll have a bit more armor area. That's what we'll do. I'll, I'll cut it off here. We can always ex extend it later on. So we need some more. They're expensive. Twenty-eight thousand. You better have some money if you're. Um, it's over thirty thousand to feed this lot. If you're um, doing these alpacas, and the XP hasn't moved. Right. So there's not much point in. Well, I say not much point. There is point. There's not a lot of point in me farming my crops and like that because you can see we don't need the money. The diamonds we'll get from other stuff. So we're really only after this sort of the XP now to open this last section which is over here. Let me just let me double check those things. Let's get a zoom in. We haven't had a proper look at them really. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're cool. Right. I suppose we can chuck a couple of crops in here for the have a look at those what's new. So what was it we had? We had berries? No, oh, we can't do them. Out of season, typical. Both of them out of season. Oh well, you can see the picture. Garlic. 
Raspberry. Oh, so the raspberries are only the same as these ones that we've done before. Just different colour. Don't think there's any more, is there? These things I should really put in a few because just for the XP. No, not for the XP, for the yeah. For the XP on the actual plant itself, not the overall XP for the farm. I suppose I could have just done it like this. Yeah, so that's the last bit I wanted to get, but obviously we're not going to get it. Not today, anyway. Oh well. Give them some food. Yeah, animals are quite expensive when it comes to uh, money. Fish aren't at the moment because you don't need to feed them. Although you thought you would have had to. Right, well, I'm going to leave it there. Like I say, I'm not going to start pulling all this up because it's not going to give me any XP, which will be a bit daft. Um, I'm going to go off actually and investigate that XP to find out if it is broken or if they know it's broken. Or if it's just that they've nerfed it and made it really hard to get XP now. And we'll be back again when, um, well, probably when we got that bit of land. And then we'll start building some more or when there's another update and we've got even more animals and buildings.